<clears throat> this is Divine Solar Empress, and I'm coming to you to do kind of a political theater reading and what's going on with our political uh, world, um, what's going on, kind of like what's going on with politics and what's going on in the world. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go through some of my cards. I have some flash cards, and I'm going to go through some of my wisdom tarot and... Um, you know what, actually, let me do the planet first and kind of pull on the energy of what, what's going on in our, our solar system, our planet, what energy is um, kind of driving this time frame. Because we are affected by our um, solar system, whether people want to believe it or not. Um, the moon, the stars, the sun, everything is, is a part of it. I see Saturn at the bottom of the deck. And Saturn always represents karma, time, basically, if anybody knows about the Saturn return, it's, it always um, has an effect. It's like the father of the cosmos. Okay, so we have the Neptune energy, which represents dreams and illusions. And it's basically about, you know, um, making your dreams reality. And it's that... Um, our dream state pretty much with our Neptune it can lead us to um, you know kind of delude ourselves and everything and Neptune is also associated with escapism drugs and alcohol and tunnel vision and delusion as well so um, that's Neptune and also you know um, with dreams um, uh, Morpheus they say Morpheus as well um, not just in the matrix um, and then the moon energy, which of course is our emotions, and then the moon in regular tarot is also illusions as well. So something going on about, um, I guess maybe our um, our consciousness, our you know the illusions that are being put out in the atmosphere, and then we have Saturn, which of course is the father of the cosmos, and Saturn is about really kind of like being accountable for our, our past and things that we do. Like that's pretty. I call it the the karma type. Um, planet <laughs> you know what what goes around is come it comes around so and the bottom of the deck it says examine your interests so yeah i'm gonna go through okay all this fell out we're not trying to take all that at once we're trying to get through this and get get some messages for what's going on okay this fell over so something significant about november 7th it's coming up something significant and behind it is September so this time frame could be important September and I have um, November 7th could be important and something that's coming up some of these cards are new. Sorry. some of these are haven't been touched <laughs> and they're just they stick together sometimes I'll just separate them a little bit okay. All right. I have two stacks so I'm gonna go through both stacks and see which one August I've seen August so we have August so we have so something significant about the fall because we have um, August, September, and then November 7th. So maybe something could be going on um, in those time frames. So, okay, what's this? It says examine your interest again. That fell out. And something significant about Diane Feinstein. Something could be going on with Diane Feinstein. And um, Tim Scott, I, I got this download. Um, if Trump runs for president again, um, his VP is going to be Tim Scott. Um, so I have Trump for president P and Tim Scott for vice president. That was a download that I got that um, his VP pick is going to be Tim Scott. And I know people are like, that doesn't mean, but that's the download that I got. And when I thought about it, I was like, this, this can't be right when I got that but in actuality it makes sense um i don't want to take too much time but he's gonna run again and 
you know, they've been trying to indict him on so much anyway. But he's going to run again. And he needs a Trump card. Oh, I'm looking at it. Trump card. I swear to you, I'm looking at it. Trump card. He needs a Trump card. His name being Trump. And he has so much support with black males, whether people want to admit that or not, because black males are really tired of the Democratic Party. And this is coming from a black woman, I'm being honest with you. Um, black males, one of the first things they really talk about, about things that they don't really like, they don't like the Democratic Party. They don't like that black women even support the Democratic Party. They don't like the policies. They just don't. A lot of black men actually truly like Trump. And people don't want to admit that, but it's actually true. Now, you have a lot of uh, black men who are upper, um, you know, as far as like, you know, bourgeoisie, whatever you want to call it. Now, they're Democrats, but the majority of black men kind of see it the way that a lot of white men do. And Tim Scott is a Republican and he doesn't. He's not, hmm, how do I say this? He's, <laughs> it's smart. It's smart. It really is a trump card. And that being on top, that makes sense to me. He really is a trump card. And they painted him out to be so racist and so much, which, I mean, let's be honest, Biden is just as racist as this. Come on. The man did uh, strong Thurman's eulogy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but just to be honest. But, you know, and I'm not a fan of Trump either. I, it's all political theater. So I'm, I'm just letting you know, this is all political theater. This is a political theater reading. But um, he's he is, it's a smart play. Because he can't pick uh, the guy from Florida, the, the Santos. I can never say he can't pick them, and he needs he needs something different. And I'm telling you, yeah, they will lose money. So something going on with the government and losing money. And I got this download. It's test tube babies. It's something going on with that situation. And I don't know if a lot of people remember in the 90s there was a comedian and he used to always say test two babies, uh, like babies that are created. And I, when I heard that again, I wrote it down because I was like, this is definitely something about that situation and what they've created. And if you look at a lot of the movies, there, especially the Matrix, they were growing the, the babies in these um, cocoon two type things. I'm just saying something's going to happen with a broken satellite or something significant about a broken satellite. So could be happening within that time frame. And yeah, blocking communication. So something to do with um, a broken satellite or some type of blocking communication is something that's going to happen soon. Um, you know, something that be, could be coming up. So Okay, let me shuffle this one more time. I'll go to the other. Okay. A subsiding storm. So whatever is happening, something's going to subside. And something could be going on with some new laws. Something could be going on with some new laws. And something significant could be happening with Vice President Harris as well. So. And I had Diane Feinstein out here as well. Diane Feinstein. Um, yeah as well so some leaders information about leaders could be coming out as well and law enforcement knows so law enforcement knows something that's going on that could be fbi cia it could be all with law enforcement and online um, eyes so that means something is going to be seen online okay so but there could be some type of block in communication. Probably some type of information or something that's going on. Yeah, it says blackout near you. So it could be something to do with maybe a blackout. And the back says blackout world. So it could be could be something going on with the satellite that's gonna have maybe a blackout coming or something where the satellites 
or something goes on with the, the power or the online situation where there's going to be a block in communication. So maybe a block online or something. So I don't know. Okay, let me go through this one more time. Put the other ones together. Yeah, it's something to do with justice. So some type of justice is going to be served. And God will judge them soon. So, yeah, there's some type of judgment. And something going on with the greys, the alien situation. And it says the government belongs to us. And it says out of time. Wow. I'm not believing. Yeah. It says this all lined up together like this. So I'm going to read it how it, 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 I'm going to read it how it looks. Okay. So I have future, past, and present. Something could be going on about the future, the past, and the present could be all coming together. And the mayors and governors and presidents are a part of it. Last king of Scotland. If you know that's about Idi Amin, um, it could be something significant about this. And I have secret society, Illuminati, something going on with the secret society. It could be any secret society, it doesn't have to be necessarily Illuminati. I just, it says same bloodline leadership. Same bloodline with the leadership. Okay, this is all it says. Don't trust your leaders. And public eyes are watching. Yikes. Wow, it came out like that again. It says uh, Black Horse. Black Horse. Um, it's biblical. It's a black horse. Um, or, you know, dark horse. And it says dark king or dark queen is involved. Yikes. Okay, let's fill out. Moloch. Something to do with uh, Moloch, the worship of Moloch. And I have clone leader. It opens a clone leader. So something about a clone leader. And then no Senate left. So something may happen with the Senate. Or there won't be a Senate. <clears throat> so um, I got that download um, about when Trump becomes president again. Which um, he will. When Trump becomes president again. Um, check out my other readings on my other channel, um, Daily Spiritual Gossip. That's my main channel. I did some readings about Kamala Harris and some downloads that I got about her um, in my dream state and stuff. Um, she's going to become president for the last few years of Biden's presidency. Um, she will become the first female president and she will run against Trump. And um, I think that's why that came out about Trump and Tim Scott. I think Tim Scott is going to be his running mate, and I think Trump is going to win again, and we will have our first um, black vice president, um, black male vice president, and um, yeah, and um, I know it sounds crazy, but just hear me out. Um, they're all connected, so it's not like he's going to go in there and just you know turn everything over to black people. Like let's just be honest. But, um, clone leader, um, yeah, I don't know, this is weird, but I do know, um, hmm, the government belongs to us. And law enforcement knows about it. 
and the mayors, governor, governors, and presidents are all a part of it. And um, yeah. So um, whatever this is and whatever truth there is, um, who they worship is not all of who we worship. And I think we all know, um, um, look up that name, Moloch. Look that up and you'll see what I'm saying. Um, but whatever is going to transpire, it's going to be public. And it's something to do with the future, the past, and the present. In that order. I know people normally say, you know, uh, past, uh, present, and future. But this, when I got this download, it's about the future, the past, and then the present. So, that's how it came out. Um, something to do with new laws. And um, also about the... Um, no Senate is when Trump becomes president again. I think that we won't have a Senate anymore. I think that um, that's going to be dismantled. Um, from what I saw, there's not going to be another Senate. And um, when I got the last King of Scotland, um, it was rulership like Idi Amin. And if anybody knows about Idi Amin, you understand what I'm saying. And um, you can go and look that up and how Yamin ruled um, in Africa. And there's going to be some type of uh, maybe a blackout with the internet or something, something to do with satellites, because I have a block in communication. So there's going to be some type of block in communication. And also I had um, Neptune come out, which is some type of illusions and the moon. So it's something coming out about that as well that in, that's in the energy which is illusions emotions dreams so there's some type of maybe veil being lifted and we have september and august so excuse me august september coming up is significant in those months and i'm telling you something significant about diane feinstein is going to happen in these next few months because she popped up and um, I got a download about her, and I wrote that down, so I don't know what that is. Um, maybe she might be stepping down from office or something, or she may, um, you know, unfortunately leave this earth. She's elderly, so it could be something significant about that. I don't know why, but um, is she, is she, is she's still a senator. Yeah, she's still a senator. So, but there's, I had no Senate, so there's something going on where there's not going to be a Senate. Um, and I had uh, Tim Scott as vice president, and Donald Trump will be president. Um, yeah. And um, November 7th could be very significant in history. Something could be going on. So, and I had, um, yeah. So, and it seems like this reading is tied to Trump in a lot of ways. And I don't know. But they do, they've been doing a lot of rituals through him. A lot of things have been going on this past, um, I would say, almost 10 years with Trump being very significant in our faces. Not maybe, I would say not even 10, maybe the last eight. The last eight years has been very significant through him. And um, bottom of the deck is the 25th Amendment. And it says the vice president takes over on the plane. So, something significant about the 25th Amendment. And the Vice President will take over on the plane. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. This is Divine Solar Empress 333. And this is my political theater reading. Um, if you happen to click onto it, please like and subscribe and please share the video. Um, you know, it's some, some good messages in here about maybe what's transpiring in our globe. No Senate again. There won't be any, there's something going on with the Senate. I'm telling you, it, it's something going to happen with our Senate. Very significant. Very, very significant. So...
I don't know. But this reading, oh my rubber band pop. This reading seems to be centered around um, Trump for some reason. And uh, President Harris showed up and Tim Scott showed up. And it says, let me go through my wisdom oracle just real quick. Let's see something. I have my psychic tarot. I'll make this longer than 30 minutes. People don't like to sit through long readings. <laughs> Got my Oprah glasses on. Okay, we are flying out to you. Okay, so I have new life. So it's going to be some type of rebirth, some type of change. And it says go to distance. So, yeah. It's urging us to just, you know, there's something new coming for us and then peace at the bottom. So I guess there is a new life maybe for the citizens, a new, something new um, going on. And we just have to go the distance. But there's going to be peace at the end of this. And like I said, we are really living through um, this political theater. And it, it affects us whether we want to admit it or not. It really does. And bottom of the deck is trapped in fear. Somebody could be trapped in fear. Um, maybe about a secret coming out or people um, are trapped in fear about what's going on with our, our world as well. So that could be in the energy too. So, but don't, don't be in fear, okay? Okay, yeah, some people could be feeling emotional loss. It's been, these past few years have been very difficult. So a lot of people being trapped in fear and emotional loss, that's, that's, you know, I understand that. Because it's been a lot of, you know, obstacles and challenges for people. So I understand that, you know, especially dealing with what happened in 2020 and people being locked down. So that, I can see a lot of obstacles as far as money, and everything else going on so definitely but the truth is another one that flipped over but the truth is definitely going to come out and a lot of people won't have to suffer in silence anymore so like I said the other card the, the last one was peace so there is peace that's gonna you know reach a lot of people yeah conflict and defeat so whoever um, is up against the righteous Whatever is going on, they're, they're going to get defeated. And as you see, he is literally running down the stairs. And that's Roman. You know, that's a Roman uh, depiction of a man, Roman. He's running down the stairs. And as you can see, I've never noticed that before. While he's running away in defeat, if you look on the wall, I look at his ancestors. The ancestors are running up the wall. You see, they're, they were running up the wall. He's running down. I don't know if you can see the depiction of the men running up, but the men are running up the wall. You can see the ancestors. They're running up the wall. He's running away. So I'm telling you, whatever demonic or whatever this is on this planet, the nonsense going on, they're going to scatter. And um, it's just a waiting game. Just a waiting game. So a lot of people have been patient. And like I said, the truth is going to come out. Ooh, and authority is at the bottom. Look. Authority, telling you, it's just a, it was a waiting game for a lot of this uh, authority, this fake leaders, because it said don't trust your leaders. A lot of it's a waiting game for all of this for them to be defeated, and then there's going to be some type of awareness. Like I said, we have awareness and truth, and then third eye, I will, third eye chakra. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, a lot of people. The third eye chakra, that's basically people are going to be able to see clearer and see better what, what we're seeing. Ooh, and hope. Hope. Oh, that's so beautiful at the end of this. Yes. From this deception, this envy, whatever's going on on this planet, because a lot of people have been deceived. And then positive move forward. So there is going to be some type of positive move forward and hope we have. So, yeah, I mean, this is a open to spiritual strength i'm not kidding you yeah yeah it's a lot of 
Yeah. Ooh. It keeps opening. Choose wisely, but it's in reverse. I'm telling you, these people, whoever these leaders are, whatever went on, they 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 didn't choose wisely to how they handled their their citizens or whatever's going on, on this planet. But I'm telling you, it, it there's a big change coming, and I saw new life and other and hope. I mean, there's there's so many wonderful things going on. It opened to temptation, so. You know, like I said, oh, this is, it's, it's a lot of things on this planet and stuff that's been done that, you know, has been lower vibrational, put it that way. And, um, yeah. So, I don't know. But they're finally admitting that, um, you know, to um, extraterrestrials, which most of us have already known that they already know about that so let's just be honest but anyway um this is divine solar empress and i wanted to close my reading out and i hope that you if you click on it it's something that you need to see um and that you will like and subscribe and please share the video i appreciate your support and i'm going to start to do more political readings and i'm going to do a religious um reading um most likely later and it's 26, 26 on the clock. And I will end it. And I thank you so much for your support.